Hello everyone, happy Thursday. It's Connor here. Let's do one more candle review to finish off the day. This is going to be a review of the Kringle Reserve Herbs and Spices. If you um, saw it earlier, I just did a review on the Crimson and Clover from the Reserve line. So those are the two reviews from today. If you missed it, and then make sure to check it out. But yeah, Kringle was kind enough to send me both of these candles and the blue hydrangea. Um, so I already reviewed that one on Tuesday. Check that review out if you missed it. But yeah, I'm going to be finishing up these three and um, reviewing this one for you guys today. Before I get into it, I do want to mention, because I totally forgot to say this in the Crimson and Clover review, the Crimson and Clover is actually sold out. I do not know if they're going to be doing a restock. They don't tell me. Um, normally, I find out the same time that you guys do. So I really don't know if they're going to be restocking it. Um, I would suggest you put your email in and you can like put your email in and then they'll notify you when it's back in stock. I have no clue if it will be coming back in stock. Um, but if you're looking for it, put your email in that box. I do apologize. I do still like to do reviews even if the product is sold out just because you never know if it's gonna come back in stock. So I already did a review of that one. Although the Blue Orchid and this Herbs and Spices, both of those are currently available on the website. And you can use my code Connor15 to get 15% off of those. So these are available. Also, I know I mentioned this in the last video, but if you didn't see that, um, Kringle is relaunching the infamous um, cannabis candle. So if you missed out on that last spring when it originally released and you're wanting to pick one up, happy 420, it is your day to pick one up. Make sure to use my code Connor15 and save yourself 15% off and that will Give me a little bit of commission. It is an affiliate link. So I just put the money right back into my channel here. But yeah, let's go ahead and talk about this herbs and spices candle. Um, so this one was very interesting to me. I kind of didn't know what to expect because I don't know, just like herbs and spices. It sounded very interesting. So the description reads, a sophisticated fusion of peppered rosemary and a hint of Ceylon cinnamon. I don't even know what that is, honestly. Ceylon cinnamon dashed over botanical herbs, green fig, and aromatic white cedar. Your top notes are herbal, bergamot, and black pepper. Your mid notes are spice and rosemary. And your base notes are fruit, amber, and wood. Okay, so really, really interesting scent, kind of similar to the Crimson and Clover where I kind of expected not to like this, but if I'm being honest, I do not hate the scent. It's just so unique. I have been burning it in my kitchen, which I kind of feel like that's where the scent is most appropriate because, you know, it obviously gives off that like herbal and spice type of scent. So I feel like the kitchen is really good, is really good for that. Um, as far as the notes that I pick up, I do feel like this has some herbs in there. I don't think that it's like an overly strong scent. Like for example, the grapefruit and rosemary, I feel like that one had more rosemary than this one does and just more herbalness overall. So like if you're scared of herbal scents, I wouldn't let this one scare you away too much. It's kind of like a fresh scent to me. I get the herbalness for sure. As far as the spice goes, I do think that there's a little bit of black pepper in here, which kind of gives it like that woodsy, borderline cologne type of scent, but I don't think that it overpowers the candle. Um, I do pick up the rosemary with that herbalness. The bergamot, I do pick up some bergamot, and I do think that the bergamot works really well with the herbalness. And there's a little bit of lime in there, which I think is the fruit note that it's talking about in the base notes. I do think that there's like a slight lime note in here. It's not like a sour lime. It to me is more of like a sweeter lime, um, not like candy, but just like a sweeter lime that kind of like smells like a garden lime that you would smell. And it works really well. Like the lime and herbals always work really well. Like herbal and lime is a really nice combination, specifically like lime and cilantro or like lime and rosemary. And I do feel like cilantro is one of the herbs that I'm smelling in here. Um, 
amber. I don't pick up a ton of amber. I think that the amber obviously plays in with that woodiness that I'm getting, which I think sparks from the black pepper. But I don't think that it's like a musky, musky scent. Like it's just more to me of like a slightly herbal scent with a little bit of lime in there and just a tad spice. Honestly, this is kind of a lighter scent to me, so I wouldn't let it scare you. It's nothing overpowering. I was actually slightly surprised when I smelled this candle. I kind of thought that this was gonna be like really peppery and like super, um, super heavy on like the herbalness, but it's kind of a lighter one and a little bit more fresh and I actually enjoy it. I think this would be a really nice scent to have going if you're cleaning your home or you just need like a like light scent to kind of like just clean out the air if you just like had something really strong in the home, like um, food that's really strong. If you like had a super strong food and you want that smell to be gone, I feel like this would be a good one to light up just because it's like a fresh herbal scent and it will kind of like cover up that dirtiness. It just, it smells very fresh, very springtime and I actually like this one. So I don't think it's something that I would like repurchase necessarily, but I do think that it's a really nice scent to have around and um, yeah, I'm definitely going to finish this off and enjoy it. Um, as far as performance goes, as always with these Kringle 100% soy, I'm really um, having good luck with them. They always burn great. I never have sooting problems, discoloration, anything like that. It's doing really well. I will go ahead and give you guys the overhead view on this one. As you can see, it's doing good so far. Very happy about the burn. I'm not even quite at the halfway point, which normally I like to be at least at the halfway point when I do my candle reviews, but I feel pretty confident with this formulation. I'm about right here. So yeah, um, that's where I'm at in the burn, but it's doing really good so far. So really happy about that. As far as strength and throw goes, again, this one is a little bit lighter for me. I've been burning it in my kitchen and I do feel that it struggles in there a little bit. I think if you actually want to smell this, then I would do it in a closed in room. I don't necessarily think it's a bedroom scent, but if you had like a smaller room in your house, I feel like this scent would be better for that because I don't think that it fills up my kitchen. It's a very light scent when you walk in there. And like if you have stuff cooking, you're definitely not going to be able to smell it. That food will definitely um, take over the scent. But you know, if you're just wanting a really nice, like fresh afternoon type of scent, I do think that this is a nice light one um, for the kitchen. Really, I could burn this all over the house. I don't think it's a bedroom scent, but like I could burn it here in the dining room and it's just like a fresh scent. So yeah, having good luck with this one. I enjoy the scent. It's very interesting and unique, but I do enjoy it. Um, strength and throw could be a little bit more, but it's not something where I feel like this would be a candle that needs to be like a 10 out of 10. Like some candles I just feel like should be a little bit lighter and I feel like that is how I feel with this one. So let me know your thoughts on this herbs and spices candle if you did pick this one up. Again, use my code Connor15 to get yourself 15% off. Um, and let me know what your thoughts on this one. If you picked it up, let me know down below in the comments. But thank you for watching. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you're new here. And I will see you guys again tomorrow. Bye.